there welcome or welcome back so today we are going to be decorating uh aesthetic cake <laughs> i have seen these kinds of cakes for the last couple of years maybe like 2020 2021 they were everywhere and everyone was obsessed with them and they're so beautiful um kind of like this kind of thing or maybe like this as well you know like that kind of thing that kind of aesthetic really simple basic cake and i have wanted to decorate one like that for basically since they started becoming big and i started seeing them but i don't know why i just haven't i have not had the time to bake or i haven't had the time to buy stuff or anything like that and i just haven't ended up doing it so seeing as it is my birthday soon i decided to buy myself a ready-made cake and some icing and decorating and stuff and decorate <laughs> so this is what i have with me i have the squeezy set thing for the icing to do the decorating i have two jugs of vegan vanilla icing hopefully this will be enough i have the food coloring to put into the icing because it's just plain white icing and i wanted to do a different colors and i have the cake which is in here i haven't opened this yet but i'm super excited to see it i have no idea how big it is exactly but this is the cake <laughs> so first things first i need to get this opened up <laughs> so we can see what we're working with here we go okay oh my god this is so exciting oh my god <laughs> this is my cake it's a lot bigger than i thought it would be Oh, and squishier. Wow, okay. <laughs> so it is a vegan lemon sponge cake, in case anyone was wondering. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna set this aside here for now and focus on the icing because I want the whole base to be pale blue icing and then I'm going to have little flowers like daisies, so white and yellow flowers all over it. That's what I'm thinking. So I need to, obviously this is white, like I said, so I need to put the food coloring in some of this to get the icing ready. I got these from Wilco and I've never <laughs> used anything like this before, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Cute. Oh my God. Okay. Cake decor. So I need the blue. I need the yellow. The rest of them can go away. Because the base is white, I don't need to add white. So I just need the yellow and the blue. Oh, wow, that's vanilla-y. Oh, my God. Should I just try it and just chuck it all in? Just chuck some of it in to see what happens? I think I might. I think I might just do that. Oh, my God. Oh, that came out so quickly. That scared me. That might be enough. I want I want pale blue. So I think I'm gonna try that. Stir it, if I can stir it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh look how good. <laughs> okay, this might actually be just perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God, yes. I think that's basically done. I think I got most of it mixed in. So this is the color. Not too bad, not too bad. A very nice pale blue. I'm pretty happy with that. I keep that white for now. Um, Cause the yellow is only like a tiny little bit. So I'm gonna need more white than I do yellow. But first we need to see if this is actually gonna cover the whole thing. I might even need some more blue. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good and lemony and look how squishy. Oh my god. Okay, I'm very excited to eat this. But I have to decorate it first. Okay, I'm excited for that too. Oh, it looks so amazing. Look at that. 
Oh, <laughs> so excited. Oh my God. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna keep the plastic on the bottom a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way over the edges just yet. But it's easy to pick up. Ooh, I have no idea how this icing is gonna go with this cake. No clue. <laughs> Let it go. I'm just gonna dump <laughs> punch on and then try to smooth it all over. <laughs> I feel like there's a pretty decent top area here. Not too bad. I obviously don't have the right tools or anything, so I'm not gonna be doing fantastic. But I feel like that's not too bad, right? Okay, I might be messing it up now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the plastic off, so I'm gonna unbox this lovely thing that I got from Poundland this is just a box I mean you don't need nothing fancy and put this in it so that maybe I can decorate a bit more there hopefully I can keep this open if not I'm just gonna have to take the plastic off and keep it on top of this box it's at the bottom so all I need to do is put it on this thing okay it didn't break it didn't break and now we can continue. Mm. Oh, so lemony. Mmm. Like I was saying, now we can continue doing the icing. On there and try to make it look half decent. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. <laughs> Obviously. But it might do. See, not too bad, not too bad. Around the sides, I gotta get rid of the bits at the bottom, obviously. There's, there's stuff around the sides, doesn't look terrible, and I can put daisies on there, right? I can totally do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see, now this is gonna be the hard bit, is the actual decorating and making flowers and using the actual thing. <laughs> squeezy thing to really do it uh, instead of just putting a layer on in a half decent way okay we're doing the white first and then the yellow okay. this is what it says on the nozzles these are all the different things you do with them i don't know which one is which because it does not show me so that's kind of annoying but let's try to figure out which one would be best number two maybe oh god or maybe a 104 for a flower. Yeah, that says writer and flower. But, uh. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna do that. We're gonna do number one. It's like a little drop! Okay, so I guess that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's uh, just try it out, I guess. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go with a number two. <laughs> After looking at that, that one looks a little bit too complicated. I can't really learn that. So I'm gonna go with the number two, which is just a tiny one that apparently is for writing. I feel like it'll be good for flowers, like the, the tiny flowers that I want to do, like the daisies, I still feel like it'll be good. So I'm going to go with that. So we're going with the number two. We have decided. We're going with the number two. So now all we need to do is get the icing in there. I think that's enough. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're doing good. Cover up that icing. We need to like squeeze it down to the bottom here. Oh, yeah, there it comes. It comes out. Oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, I get that we're right. It was definitely too small. But we're still gonna try it. We're gonna do this. Oh shit, it's coming out. Okay. Ooh. Keep going. 
I feel like I should do more, but I don't know where. Okay, I think that's all of the white. I think that's all the flowers I'm gonna do. I hope that's okay. It looks pretty good-ish for like how basic I wanted it and the flowers and stuff and for how difficult it actually is, which is extremely difficult. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now I guess we need to get all this white out so we can use the yellow. Just put dots in the middle of all of them. That is so easy. Let's do this. And last dot. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Not exactly what I was picturing. The flowers didn't turn out as perfect as I thought they would. They're a little bit messy, but still super cute, and I love it. Look at this cake. Oh, it's so nice. Mm, the blue turned out exactly how I thought. Like I said, obviously the flowers didn't, but still super beautiful. Oh. Okay, I guess that is it. The cake is completely finished. I know super basic and everything, but that's what I promised at the start. <laughs> Let me know what you think, what I could have done differently, if you have any tips or anything, um, in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye.